guys I'm Takara welcome back to my channel in this video I am going to be using the flawless by Gabrielle Union line and straightening my hair I know I already have a straight hair routine up so if you want to see an in-depth straight hair routine that one was start to finish I will leave that link up above but I will be giving you guys my thoughts on the flawless by Gabrielle Union line and showing you a bit of my process, not too in depth. So if you are interested in seeing my results using this line, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, I shampooed, conditioned, and deep conditioned my hair off camera. If you wanna see that process, it is in my previous straight hair routine. But I shampooed my hair using the smoothing shampoo and I conditioned my hair using the smoothing conditioner. Um, the shampoo for me was a bit stripping. I was not a huge fan of it. Um, it left my hair feeling pretty dry, even though it says that it quenches and tames, but yeah, I didn't really like the shampoo that much. The conditioner was okay. Um, it provided a bit of moisture after the shampoo stripped my hair but it did not have the slip that I normally look for in my conditioners. The deep conditioner provided a bit more moisture than the conditioner did, but not as much moisture as I would prefer, but it was a strengthening deep conditioner. So it did make my hair feel a bit more strong, but I, my hair was not as moisturized as I would normally like for it to be once I was done with that entire process. So. I would personally say that those products are just okay. Once I was done with the wash routine, I went in and began the blow dry process and I used the blow dry cream by Flawless and this was definitely my favorite product from the line. I used about a quarter size amount per each section just to make sure I didn't weigh my hair down because you don't want your hair to be weighed down if you're straightening it. So yeah, I applied that to my hair and my strands too. They just sucked that up. It felt so silky going on and it kind of felt like I could use more than what I use and it still wouldn't weigh my hair down, but I didn't want to take any chances. So after I used the blow dry cream, I went in with the GVP brand Kimra blow dry spray. It's the um, Sally Beauty brand of the Kimra blow dry spray that's supposed to help speed up the process of, of blow drying your hair. So I used just one spray of that because it has like an oily consistency and I also didn't want to weigh my hair down, but I really do feel like that helps my hair dry a bit faster because my hair did dry faster than it normally does. After that, I went in with my heat protectant and detangled my hair to prepare for the blow drying process. and I'm gonna be using my Silverbird blow dryer on medium heat and high airflow. I was being lazy and tried to do the entire section at once. Don't be like me guys, I knew better than that. <laughs> I ended up having to split the section in half like I normally do anyway. But yeah, I'll just split the section in half and blow dry each half of the section, as you can see. And then once I'm done blow drying one half, I twist it up so this out the way and I blow dry the rest of the section. And once both sections are dry, I combine the two sections and go over them again to ensure that it's dry. You do not want the flat iron hair that is still damp. And then I'm going in with the cool shot and closing my hair's cuticle. And I'm just gonna braid the section up to keep it stretched while I do the rest of my hair. Once I'm done blow drying all of my hair, I'm gonna take down all of the braids and pat my roots a bit 
to make sure that they're dry because my ends are normally dry for the most part but sometimes my roots can tend to still be damp so I'm just gonna feel around and make sure that they're dry because like I said you do not want to flat iron damp hair and risk frying your hair so now I'm just detangling my hair and I'm showing you guys how it is blown out I told you guys in my last video that I love this blow dryer it literally gets my natural hair the straightest I have ever been able to get it with a blow dryer now I'm going in with some more heat protectant spray because you can never be too careful <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with my chi keratin silk infusion I've never used this before either um, I just wanted to try it out I bought it from Marshall's for like half the price it originally is so make sure you check Marshall's before you go in and try to purchase expensive products like that and yeah you saw I tried to pour it and it was still closed I'm slow <laughs> but yeah I'm taking about a dime size amount and applying it to each half of my hair I didn't want to use too much because I didn't want to weigh my hair down but I feel like I could have used a little bit more so next time I think I'll try to use a bit more than that and yeah so I'm just doing it to both sides of my head and now it is time to straighten I straightened most of my hair off camera because you guys have seen it before in my previous straight hair routines the same process so I'm taking slightly larger sections than I took last time because I was being lazy not gonna lie y'all it was like it's pretty late and I had a long day so <laughs> I'm taking decent size amounts of hair and using my rat tail comb first doing the chasing method with my flat iron and this is just a do revolution flat iron and I had it on about 410 degrees and for my second pass I'm gonna use my board with some brush like I did in my previous video and I did up the heat a little bit from the last video because I know I had it on like 400 last time but this time I decided to use 14 because I was doing slightly larger sections and I feel like it still turned out pretty decent um, I don't like for my hair to be like bone straight I don't know I just I don't know I don't really prefer that look on me so um, I like a more fluffy straight hair look so I am gonna go in and bump my ends a bit like I did in my previous video as well and like I said previously I feel like using the rat tail comb and the board bristle brush to straighten my hair helps me get um, the best results and the next thing I'm doing is just trying to get my edges as straight as possible kind of hard to get close to them but I'm doing my best <laughs> and here is my hair straight um, it is about time for a trim so don't mind my ends <laughs> And now I'm just going in and bumping it like I told you guys I would because I prefer my hair to have some type of bump to it. I don't like just straight hair on me at least. <laughs> Okay guys, here are the final results. My final thoughts on the flawless line. I will be using the rest of the products because I purchased them and I wanna get my money's worth. They were not horrible because I did like the outcome of my hair. Even though I wasn't a huge fan of the shampoo, conditioner, and the deep conditioner, I did like my end results. So I'm gonna use the rest of them, but I don't think I will be repurchasing those three products. I didn't see myself repurchasing the blow dry cream. Like I told you guys, it was my favorite product. It left my hair silky and shiny, even after blowing it out. And it was a bit more sleek than it normally is with just the blowout. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.